What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about Jesus Coin in this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let's get going, you guys. <clears throat> got a little bit to talk about, right? Uh, moved up 23% yesterday from open to close. A nice day. We're up overall like 50% this week, sitting at six zeros, one, two, six, seven. We still got two days left in the week to go. Um, looking good. No, the volume's not there, but again, as, of, as I've addressed in the past couple days, I don't think we need volume necessarily to move up through this range. I think it's when we break out of this little like box that we're in here. When we break out of this, whether it's to the downside or to the upside, I think that's when we're gonna get the volume to come in. So I'm not worried about it, right? Um, this could be it, guys. It really could be it. You know, we've been saying it the past the past couple weeks, but like it's it's really starting to look like it this week. You know, this could be what starts taking us up to our next all-time high, right? Now we've been here before. We've been here before and we've been duped a couple times and it hasn't been fun. So let's not let's not get our hopes too high. But this is a very long phase of consolidation, right? Crypto is getting bullish. Meme coins are coming back. Risk on and crypto is back. It seems like that, at least to me. People are definitely getting bullish. It feels like the tide is turning and meme coins tend to get the first wave of that tide, right? And and multiple waves afterwards. But what I'm trying to get to is that this thing has been consolidating for a very long time. Everybody in crypto is, com is complaining and crying about how long of a consolidation phase Bitcoin's been in. It's been consolidating since since March or April or whatever, right? Jesus coin, anybody holding Jesus coin, you guys know that we've been consolidating since the end of November last year. I guess technically it was the very, very beginning of December. This was the, the week begun in the end of November, but I believe this high actually happened in December, like very early December, right? So we've been consolidating for for a lot longer than just April or March, right? A lot, a lot longer than that. That's like a whole quarter of a year, if not a little bit more than that, that we've been consolidating. Um, it's, it's overdue. It's definitely time for this move to happen, right? Now, will this move see new all-time highs? I think so. Will it not? That's a possibility as well. Let's go over that. From, from an all-time high to a relative low perspective, no, I am not measuring this low. This low, even though it is the technical low, it's not the low of like this move right here, right? It's the low of this move, this sideways move. It's not the low of this down move. So I'm measuring high to low based on this move. That's kind of how I do it, right? Um, and they're very close together anyways, but let's, let's be technical. It's technical analysis, right? So if we were to not see new all-time highs, at a minimum, I would expect that we at least go here, right? At a maximum, the implied area would be like the 886. Maybe we see some kind of double top, something like that of which the potential would be anything from the current price would be about a 90%, 80% gain to a three and a half X, maybe a four and a half X at the worst case, right? And I just personally don't see that happening, but if that were to happen, <clears throat> I would assume that Jesus coin would continue to move up, but it would be slower. It'd be so much slower than either of these two previous moves. So we would know by the illustration of time that is generated on the chart. If, you know, I feel like it would be obvious if this thing were to top off in this area because I don't think that we would get these powerful moves um, stretching into like new space that we've never seen before. I don't think we'd get that going into these lower highs here, okay? So I feel like that that might be a little bit of a takeaway. I don't wanna get that confused in case in case anybody doesn't understand me, you know, maybe, maybe this part isn't for you, but I don't wanna get that confused with if we're moving slower than last time that that means that we're that we're not going to see new all-time highs. That's not what I expect. In fact, we could. I do kind of expect that this move will be slower than the last one, right? It it very well could take longer to form and it might not be as big, but still fast overall, right? This was a 60, I forget how much it was, but it was like a 60 something X, and that took place in 9 weeks, man. Right? That's that's fast. Maybe we only see a 30X this time. Maybe it takes 18 weeks, but that's still pretty damn fast, right? Like for for a 30X, that's still pretty fast. So Again, not to get confused, I'm saying if we move up, I think the way that we move up throughout this Fib range will tell us if we're going to see new all-time highs or not, right? And that has to do with the speed. Take into consideration, we are expecting, I am expecting a slower move up than the prior two moves up personally, okay? This move, by the way, I don't know, I don't necess I don't believe that it's going to be the all-time high for this cycle. I think it has two more moves up in it, but it could be. This could be the all-time high. This next move, wherever we top off, could be the all-time high. 
last time we topped off in December, right? I don't think the crypto cycle is going to last in, into next December. So, you know, maybe we have another year left in us. But if we move up, if we move up crazy, we start to consolidate from December. We do a whole nother one of these again. Like how much how much time are we going to have to move up again? Right. Does that does that make any sense? Am I making sense there? Like if we move up here and it's the end of the year, we top off around the same time like we did this this time and we consolidate similarly to that by the time it's time to move up. We're not going to have like any time left in the cycle to to see new all time highs. So, I am expecting again that that this move here could be the cycle high. It could be the all time high for the cycle until the bear cycle comes for the overall crypto markets, and then we see the next bull market. Then then finally we'll we'll come out of the trenches. You know, um, that could happen. But I'm also I, what I'm actually expecting is that this move will be the second to last high. We'll have a consolidation phase smaller than this one, sizably smaller, and we'll have one last push up. It might be more magnificent than this push up here, but probably smaller in overall size, but maybe it moves faster as a uh, finale finisher would do. I don't know, it's a theory. I'm not 100% on that, but you know, this is definitely a perfectly fine area to top off in my opinion for Jesus coin if it really wanted to from a high to a low, you know, your 61869 area. That's that's perfect. Your 618 1 one six one eight one four one four. I'm sorry. That that area, perfectly fine to top off for the cycle. Totally fine. But the market cap, even at these levels, is still low enough where it really could allow for some serious growth after that. So, in case all that was confusing for anybody who who listened to me word vomit there for a few minutes, I'm essentially saying that I expect this move to be phenomenal. I expect it to be similar, right? Like in size to these two moves, right? It just might not be as fast, still fast overall. Um, and I would expect that we go to five zeros, one, one to five zeros, two, five, somewhere in that range. Absolutely, we could go higher. And I do expect that this move here that I'm talking about will happen by the end of this year of 2024. What I'm saying after that is that I think we will experience a consolidation phase. I don't think that'll be the cycle high. I give it the, the tip of the hat, the, the acknowledgement that it could be. And I think it's important for anybody holding Jesus coin to potentially take some profits off the table on this one. I'm not telling people to just dump everything and sell. Do that if you want to. I'm probably going to take half the chips off the table when it comes to my Jesus coin holdings at this time. We'll see. I'll let you guys know, right? I've, I've changed the plan here or there. I've said at least half and I've, I've kind of stuck with that, right? I'm planning on taking like I'm changing it from at least half to so just thinking just half straight up, just half. But we'll see. You know, we'll know better as we're getting up here. I'll tell you guys what I'm planning to do. Um, <clears throat> but definitely planning on taking some chips off the table because, again, the consideration that this could be the cycle high in this area. When I say the cycle high, I don't mean like this is not a cycle, right? This this is not a cycle. This is all part. This whole existence of Jesus coin is all part of one cycle still. So when I say cycle high... When I'm talking about a cycle high, like the bear cycle is going to be longer than anything that we've seen so far. And that's that's to be expected for something that just came out in 2023. Um, with the fact that this could be the cycle high, it's, it's genuinely, I think, a, a decent idea to consider taking some chips off the table. Again, don't sell everything. You don't have to. If you want to, go for it. None of this is financial advice, but a great opportunity to sell. Wouldn't it have been nice either of the times that it topped off and it consolidated for months to have taken profits just a little bit you didn't have to sell everything but damn you could have sold 10 percent up here and then bought it back here and it would have, it would have done you so good you know or even back here and it still would have done you really good like i don't know all i'm trying to say is just advocate the sell i'm definitely gonna i'm, I'm planning on selling up here but anyways I'm, I'm a top 200 wallet right guys like i'm not going to be one of those people that's like Oh, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going so I can get the liquidity to go up. First off, I don't even think I have that influence. But second off, I'm I'm just being real here. Like I, I definitely do think that it's it's going to probably sell off somewhere in this area. At a minimum, 5011, but I think 5015 to 5025 is probably a more likely area um, to go to. And I've just been focusing on that the whole video. Let's actually talk about the short term stuff. Actually, let's move on and, and get this video done with. I like that we're closing above the weekly 50 on the RSI here. That's something I've been asking for for the past couple weeks since we've been moving up green here. It looks like we're going to get it this week unless we have some intense volatility in the, the next two days and pull back 
a lot. We give back most of this week's gains, in which case that would just be a real tease, but I don't think we're going to get that. This is starting to look bullish. Yes, for anybody aspiring technical analysts out there, yes, this is a higher high. Yes, this is a lower high. Yes, that is hidden bearish divergence. It's not a good thing, but technically it's not until we get a red week, right? So it's not even hidden bearish divergence until this week closes. So we get this week to close here. You've got your lower highs with your higher highs. Sure, it's presented, it's there, but it's not confirmed until we get a red week. So we could we could just keep moving up, right? And then this moves up and then what? Is it bearish divergence anymore or hidden bearish divergence? No, it's it's just doing what Jesus coin does, man. It just It's moving up fast. Um, so that's good. <laughs> so getting above the 50 on the week, the RSI is good. It's a good thing. <clears throat> We are not, we do not have bearish divergence on the daily, though we don't need bearish divergence to top off. I want to stress that, right? Higher highs here, high right there, high right there, higher highs. You had a high here in your RSI, and this high was oh so slightly higher, no bearish divergence technically, and yet still it was the momentary top, right? So, and, and that might not even be a good comparison, because even if that was a lower high, I don't know if that would actually constitute as bearish divergence personally, because they're, they're so far away from each other, but just trying to deliver the point that you don't need bearish divergence to top off. You didn't have it here. I guess you did have it here, but that's, but that's beside the point, okay? <clears throat> um, I don't think that we're gonna top off. I wouldn't be too surprised if what we did was we moved up at least a little bit higher to this 382 around six zeros, one, three, five. Okay, we're at six zeros, one, two, six right now. Six zeros, one, three, five, move up to there or around there. If we go a little bit higher, don't get too excited because when I say or around there, that means we could move up a little bit higher or around there and then find resistance, right? Something like that. Um, I don't know if we're gonna pull all the way back to the two, three, six. It's very common to do, to hit your three, eight, two, even go a little bit above it and then go down to your two, three, six. But this is the second interaction, right? F from this low, we've interacted with the three, eight, two once already. So, I would think it's completely possible that we could just move straight up through it and go to the 61869 area. It's, it's hard to say. We'll know better by this weekly close, but I, I would say as of right now, today, being that it's Saturday, we basically got, got the whole day ahead of us and Sunday. I think the goal at this point, which I love, I love that we're already at this point, right? Because the goal, the goal two days ago was to close the RSI above the 50. Check. We've, I think, and I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. I hope it doesn't bite me in the ass or peck me, whatever they do. But <laughs> I feel comfortable in saying that we're going to get this close above the 50. Now the goal, the goal two weeks ago was that. Now the goal is to close above the 382. If we can close above the 382 either this week or next week, to me, that would signal that we are ready for this 61869 area. If we prod above the 382 and then close below it, that could tell me that maybe we're going down to the 236 first and then up, and that's okay. We could genuinely move back down to the seven zeros, the land of the seven zeros, just below six zeros one, and be fine. That would be a higher low. It'd be very healthy on a fit perspective, right? This move up, I am expecting it to be a little bit slower than the prior move. It all makes sense in my opinion, but however it is, whether we're moving up immediately, uh, down relatively soon, whatever, I, I do believe we're on an ultimate path to glory that's going to take us up to uh five zeros one one to five zeros two five or higher like genuinely and from the current price that's a growth of a minimum of like an almost uh, that's about an eight and a half x a little bit over an eight and a half x near nine x let's just say that sounds nicer right let's butter it up a little bit um and then about a 19x there right let's call it a 20x right something between a 9x and a 20x is completely possible for jesus coin and genuinely genuinely a 20x is possible even beyond that is possible uh we saw a 62x or a 61x last time from a low point to a high point it was a 60 almost a 62x um so whenever i say that seeing a 20x is possible i genuinely mean that right that's not even half of what we saw last time if we were to see something around half like this is a 35 36x right here and that's at our 1886 deeper extension we genuinely could see that level and that's all the way at five zeros four six so don't just i don't know don't just plan to sell all at one price maybe do i, I don't know do do it your way but it might be wise to layer okay that's that's all i'm thinking if you're planning on selling it might be wise to layer i probably won't start selling here though i, I probably will start selling at this 1414 it depends on how things look we'll see definitely 
we get to this 1618, I'm going to sell a decent bit. And then if we happen to make it up to the 1886, man, I might, I might sell a decent bit more. We'll see. But um, I'll let you guys know, again, as, as it happens, when it happens. I'll keep you guys informed. But uh, enough about my own personal stuff. I think I've said enough. I think I've, I've gone over enough, right? It's very, very, very bullish stuff that we're experiencing right now. I am expecting rather immediate continuation, though. I don't know how intense that continuation is going to be. Is it going to be like what we saw last time? Are we about to see a week? Whether it's this week or next week, are we going to move up 85% this week? Are we going to move up 230% next week? I don't know. Is it going to be that fast or are we on our way right now? And it's just going to take till the end of the year until we get to these targeted areas, right? Maybe not moving as fast as this, but still moving pretty fast nonetheless. I don't know. Um, overall, definitely expecting that we move up higher. If we don't see new all-time highs, I think there will be signs in the mix that that are that are warning us um and, and we'll, we'll see that you know we'll, we'll kind of see that ahead of time as well I'll keep you guys in the loop if if i believe that we're not going to see new all-time highs if i believe that we're going to top off somewhere around here and that's not ideal but still better to get out at these prices than to get out at lower prices right if it does see a, a, a lower high on the macro you would expect to see a lower low so um, it might not be what you dream of, right? What we're, what we're hoping for. It might not be, and some people are hoping for higher numbers, and I think that those will happen on the next high after this high. Um, but all our hopes aside, reality can smack you right in the face, and sometimes it's not exactly what you want it to be. So just be prepared, right? I'm personally, I would, I would genuinely bet somebody that this thing sees new all-time highs. Like if somebody wanted me to bet against this like i would genuinely bet we do see new all-time highs i would i would take the bet that that we break out and see new all-time highs but totally accepting and totally aware of the possibility that this this zone we could top off at so just just be aware of that guys i don't know i i'm i'm running out of things to say i feel like i've said enough so i'm gonna end the video there if you guys like the video hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more content things are looking good for jesus coin absolutely six zeros one two six right now it hasn't really moved at all this whole video um, but hopefully it does move by the next one. Um, definitely nice to see. So keep it up. We'll see you on the next one. Ooh, <clears throat> I want to look at the four hour real quick. Probably a momentary pause, right? I would say from here today might be a pause of a day. Maybe <laughs> it might it might be uh, it might be <clears throat> the day that we break out into the stratosphere. I don't know. It's hard to say, but the four hour is pretty overextended in the overbought zone here. Hitting the ninety is a pretty deep move. Looking like we're gonna get. And we already did. We get a red? No, we're red already. We closed that green. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. That's pretty hot in the RSI. That's all I'm trying to say, man. On a four hour basis. <clears throat> Right, like you've topped off. We'll put a line right here. Hold on. You know, topped off here before. Went up a little bit higher, a little bit higher, but definitely a range. Okay, this is like back, I don't know, this was like a year ago. Just crazy weird stuff. Definitely a range we don't encounter too often, and when we do, we don't we don't prod too much higher, and we definitely don't stay here for long. So um, I'm not expecting a sell-off like this by any means, but it, it just could promote a little bit of a stance so maybe we cool off a little bit for a day or two or three and then we try again sometime next week something like that could make sense right anyways that's all i got for you guys if you like the video hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more this is what we've been waiting for guys it's happening it's happening right before our eyes and i love saying that man i feel like i've said that a lot over the past week for various cryptos i love saying it about every single crypto that i own certainly about jesus coin this feels like the moment we've been waiting for for a very long time, man. So that's all I got. Take care. Bye-bye.